Deck is fucking. This is exactly where my brain is. I wonder if two Frexine Tower is correct in this deck. It helps us control Undead Augur a little bit. It's kind of cute with Jadar. Yeah, let's leave two in. Let's leave two in. My uh, the build that I had of this before I added the Graph Reavers. Did have like a little bit of graveyard stuff going on. So the towers made a little bit more sense. Had a few more things that I wanted to sacrifice. I think two's okay though. It's so good when it's good. I like having one and a half city of traders or something. Oh, I like that two Kai Storm. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was doing it as Zom Beats. But Zom Eats is also nice. Swap sleeves. We can do that. We have a more zombie ish sleeve. Oh, you said swamp sleeves. Do I have swamp sleeves? I have no idea. Oh, I do. Yeah. Alright, just for you. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little on the drained side. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many hours in a row I've been up, but uh, I think attacking with a Rotting Registrar carrying a Shadow Spear is exactly where, what I want to be doing right about now. This is perfect. This is absolutely fucking lootly perfect. I played Necro Duality. I don't even know what that fucking card is. Oh, the four mana. No. <laughs> no. I like how I talked about the Phyrexian Tower. Like the two of whether whether two is like correct or not. And now like I get a hand where <laughs> I super don't want to have two Phyrexian Towers. Mm, it's so rare. It's gonna happen so rarely that you have both of them in your opening. Like I think you're gonna like want be happy to to draw the one of more often than you'd be sad to draw the second tower. Like I think you're gonna be happier to have two more than more than one, even if it is. A little awkward here. And we drew the second swamp, so it wasn't even awkward. Didn't even matter. So it looks like my opponent is actually playing, um, if not my uh, fucking drain list, something very similar to it. Oh no, no, this is my list. I wasn't playing Rally. Chonk it up. Chonk it the fuck up. The Sheriff of Rotterdam is coming to town here. Why have I been up long? It, it, it hasn't been anything like like super nefarious or anything like that. Sometimes I do like have like real problems with insomnia and stuff, but um, it was just a matter of like not streaming for X number of days in a row and uh, my sleep schedule getting wonky and a lot of exciting things going on. Boring shit. A champion to offer a trade with their champion? I feel like no, but I could be wrong. I feel like actually their champion probably is gonna grow faster than mine. I may do offer that trade.
Oh shit, what up? Hey, real dumb guy, thanks for the sub. Yeah, their team today adversary is gonna trade with my my uh, Reggie, I believe. How good is Spear be here, hum? Or that demonic thing. Just jump a sheriff. I'm pretty sure I would play the fourth of the uh, castle before I played the first Agadim's Awakening. I, I legitimately don't don't like that card. Black, black, black is too much. You mean before the X? So you have to pay like five or something, yeah. So this doesn't seem like the spot for Graph Reaver. So my Bennett, my Bennett to Reggie here. And then I kind of like the idea of playing out an Undead Augur and then sacking Undead Augur to tower. At least put Lyris to hand, sure. Oh, never mind. Let's lead on Colossus. Oh, they have shown what the white is for. They're playing Rally and they're playing uh, some Dream Drain Knights. Augur's not token, right? No, it's a zombie. Okay, cool. Hmm. Rank up. Platinum, tier two. Mindless zombies getting it. Just <laughs> good old fucking... Three mana seven sixes. Absolutely, Matu. Absolutely. We'll get some sweet zombies in though. For the end of the stream here, I might even play that new card that I wanted to try out. Two mana three three. I like its base stats. I don't think. My only issue with it is like the like two minute for a three three that like pings you for one a turn is like not quite good enough unless you occasionally blow up a, a planeswalker with it. But I think if you do occasionally blow up a planeswalker with it, then it's then it's like worth. So the question is going to be like, does that ever actually happen? Does that ever actually happen in historic? Do people ever actually just play a planeswalker? For you to munch on. Ooh, a card. I was worried about not having anything to do on turn two here. Undead Augur is excellent. Yeah, I'm just gonna Reggie again. Call in the Sheriff of Rotterdam. AR makes me think that they might be doing some like devotion stuff. Gonti? Gonti? Oh, 
I only get my sweet, sweet skull sleeve. Oh, I've been here. It's intuitive to have been the Wanderer, I suppose. Because I can get it back. So we could give the Reggie Trample. But I think that leaves me a little far behind next turn. Because even though I'm trampling over, they're like trading off the Gaunt team. And then if they have the removal spell for the champion, I just like don't have any threats. I think the new set. Not a big fan. I'll be honest. Usually I would lie through my teeth, but I'm going to make an exception just for you. I think this might be literally the first time I've uh, just noped out of a limited format with one day of play. And I don't really have any like valid like criticism for like why I don't like it or anything like that. Or any like thought or analysis or anything useful or smart. It's just not for me. And that's all I got for you. We have a lot more fun uh, trying stuff out in Historic. That's what I was kind of thinking, Seven Deadly Sins. Even the games I was winning didn't really feel that fun to me. My, my, uh, the formats that I like really, really love in terms of limited formats the ones where like decidedly cool interactions and sweet things are happening and coming together in like kind of like janky and unexpected ways. I'm mostly talking about Dominaria right now.
A flying fucking zombie dinosaur demon taking it home. Somehow good enough. Love it. Triple Innistraden? I love Triple Innistraden. That's also one of my favorites. I was also like, that's also a format where you can do like some kind of cool things. Some interesting bits of synergy. MH2 is still up on Moto, yeah. I, do, I definitely want to get another MH2 stream in before it's gone. Maybe a couple. Do my part. Do my part to help more Ragavans get into the the system. But yeah, people different different people are looking for different things when it comes to um, limited formats, constructed formats, all that business. So if you were having fun, if you were having fun playing um, this format, then fucking all the power to you. I'm like happy that you're happy. It's so extremely rare when I'm uh, not into a new magic set too, and I do still like like the uh, the art and the flavor and um, and all that business. Oh, sweet sweet zombies. Right, I'm trying to decide if Undead Augur or Graf Reaver is better to play on turn two here, or maybe even just like killing the Rune Crabs best. I feel like applying pressure is best though. Against Mill, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna Reaver. Let's Reaver it up. Get my 3 3 down. Clues are better than blood. I mean, clues are better than most things, right? <laughs> clues are just better than treasure. Maybe I should let them mill me some before I play the Diagraph. <laughs> It'll just be like a 3 minute 10 10. Some crazy shit. Past Caleb, present Caleb, future Caleb. Self dunks are super loud, yeah. If self dunks weren't allowed, I don't, I don't know what I would do. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be dunking shit. Yeah, so I don't like playing Diagraph Colossus on Curve very much. You might have noticed from the last couple of games. And if you play it on Curve, you're going to get more 2-2 two -two zombies. But it's also just going to be a 3-mana 2-2. Two -two. We have some nice... Uh, chunky cards to play sometimes. Hmm... 
So Demonic Embrace would let us hit them down to like... Not very many lives. I think I could just, should just play this. Because it doesn't quite kill them, right? It would just hit them to one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So the difference between four life and one life doesn't seem to matter that much. I like getting the second Colossus down, because I think the only sweeper is Witch's Vengeance, right? Likely. Yeah, exactly, Lord Sorrow. Post cleanup. Playing it into the one drop there felt really good. Because it was bigger because of the sweeper. There's like more cards in my graveyard. And then, like, post cleanup, I also have mana to like play something and get some value immediately, too. Yes, correct. The only way to get into historic is to, uh. Steal your parents' credit cards, basically. Donate some fluids. This hand does not look great, does it? I could keep it and see if, like, Augur into Dark Salvation does something. I have to have like an X2 because we don't have the one drop here. Oh, no mole. Maybe I'm spoiled with that Reggie business. if I should be activating the Crit Breaker here. Like, just activate Bin Dark Salvation, untap, play Reaver, and then I can draw a card off the Crit Breaker. I guess attacking for three might be good too, though. Attack for three and then activate. Play if I'm whiffing on a third land here. Me hum. I'm getting Cocoed. I'm getting Cocoed here. Oh, no, okay. Oh, me too, old Greg. Me too. 100%. Oh, shit, what up? Jeepers. 
might have been literally been the, the matchup where I could kill it to fairy or something if I chill in that reaver. Oh, she would not pay JRC. Thanks for the 39 months. Appreciate you. You've had congestion for a few days, and you're afraid you had the Rona test came back negative. Nice. I'm glad you don't have the Rona. I'm just gonna scoop here. I'm like still on land number two. We need to keep it two lanes in the opener, yeah. So it goes. Oh, shit, Such what? is the game of magic. Hey, Mr. Burgundy, thanks for the 20 months. Been subbed for a reasonable chunk of time. Yeah, very reasonable. Appreciate you too, Mr. Burgundy. Important. Hmm. So far today, I haven't sacked anything to that bone shards. But I haven't minded discarding either. We use this better as a fatal push, huh? Kinda hard for us to turn Fatal Push on. But if you're just like killing a smaller thing most of the time anyway. Maybe that doesn't matter so much. Kinda feel like I wanna draw with a Crit Breaker here. Hey Jackpot, thanks for the 46 months. <laughs> hey look at that! You have been subbed for a reasonable chunk of time. Is this shamans again? It's not. Oh, Actual shit, factual man. red green beats. Hey, Project X, thanks for the 32 months. Ooh. And salvation's gonna be good. Attack? I don't think we attack. Like they double block, right? They double block the champion of the perished. And then you're trading this 4-4 for a 3-3. Crusher, maybe. Yep. Yeah, all yours, Project, all yours. His four Dark Salvations felt good. I mean, it feels good in this matchup. Like, I don't think I can draw too many of that card. Obviously, it's, like, not good against control or whatever, but... 
It's probably also not gonna like make or break you. We have a lot of like loots and stuff, right? Like we've been to Crit Breaker, we're beating to Reggie. We're probably not beating Control very often, invest in one anyway. With the way the deck's set up. Oh, I meant to put some on the Spellbreaker too. Oh well. Not a big deal. dead 12 in the air and then they have two blockers four five six seven they look kind of dead huh oh, i wasn't even counting the, the dire block, the pump from the guy diagraph there I was just thinking in my head, like, <laughs> I wish I could play my own Embercleave in my mono black aggro deck. I wish I had some way of breaking through here. Oh well. <laughs> Draws the win. Oh, right. I do have something kind of like that. The uh, plus one plus one trample and lifelink card also would have been insane, right? Either one of those. Let me take it home. I think it was kind of sweet. Kind of cool. For grinding up the ladder, is it better to play best of one or best of three? Um, so if you have the identical win rate in both, best of three, because then a lot of your game losses end up not counting. Like if you uh, if you go two and one every round. You're gonna climb a lot faster. In best of three is a easy way to think about it. However, however, if you're playing more games in best of one, because you're playing a faster deck, if your win rate is higher in best of one, those can change the math. Like earlier, I was actually climbing faster in best of one with like the same identical deck because my win rate was higher when I was playing in best of one for whatever reason. I kind of don't like this hand, not having a one drop here. No one drop or a three really. I mean, Dark Salvation is sort of a three. I'm gonna maul. This is the, the main reason I'm not playing, like, four castles. Shit like this comes up. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes you just hit anyway. Sometimes you just hit anyway. Yep, that's a large part of it. I'm random. Oh, 
That comes up in uh, uh, cube trophy races too. Like playing the deck that um, where you like play your matches faster. You can have a lower win rate with that and still end up with more, tro more trophies overall. Simply by getting through more matches quicker. All depends on what your goal is, what you're trying to do. One's doing some life gain stuff. The fuck is this? Some angel stuff. I guess I'll salvation it. People that are good enough to be, like, in a trophy race aren't, like, drafting decks that are that bad very often, though, come on. Usually... And if you're doing that for, like, an entire season, like, you're spending a lot more money. I guess some folks do that. I remember hearing, the, like, one of the trophy... like, one of the draft trophy leaders... was negative back before um back before the split with arena What's a trophy leader? A trophy is something that you earn on Moto. Maybe like go 3 0, you get a trophy. And then after a season of play, it resets. Moto Magic Online doesn't have a ladder like uh like Arena has. So it's just another way for folks to keep track of whether they've been winning a lot or not. Similarly to the ladder, it also takes like a lot of grinding. Full party? How long are they having a full party? Oh, it's just for the indestructible ability, I think. Been a while since I read that card. Threat nine. I almost want to serve all in. I could draw another card though. If they're eating my uh, my smaller creatures for value, then they're not uh, then they're not getting any profitable double blocks in. And I think they can't really afford to just like let me chonk them right. I'm 
I'm not sure I understand your question there, Rando. Oh, you're saying if I was gonna draw, I would do it on my turn, as opposed to like on the end of their turn? Yeah. With one Regisar in play, you can draw on the end of their turn if you have like a card in hand or whatever. But if you're Hellmint, then you want to draw on your turn. If you have two Regisars in, in, in play, then you certainly want to... Certainly want to be drawing on your turn. If you are drawing. Not a bad thing to point out. Zombies, not doing bad. Not doing bad. This is a really pleasant deck to play when your brain is absolutely cooked, by the way. If you can't, uh... <laughs> If you can't think super good, and you just want to <laughs> play some huge chonkers, see if the opponent dies or not. Elves! God, elves are just going to fucking destroy me, aren't they? slower draw, and it kind of looks like they do. Possible. A demonic embrace on Reggie gets there. Not likely, but possible. I definitely want to kill the Sentinel for two different reasons. One, it can generate mana and get them closer to activating their one drop. And then two, it also has reach, which is <laughs> something I care about as a zombie deck for some reason. Attacks, love it. <laughs> I think uh, De Demonic Embrace has to be better. It just has to be better. I really want to uh, <laughs> Shadow Spirit up though. We're not dead on the Crank Bank, right? Crypt Breaker Chumps, Graph Reaver Chumps. They're gonna make a 3-3 uh, with Imperious Perfect, and then they might play another Lord effect. Actually, it might be really close. Maybe I do need the Shadow Spear. Just give me a sec here. So two blockers. Means on board, six, 12, 14 damage. Yeah, if they had another Lord effect, they'd have lethal. Does Shadow Spear prevent that? Do they have good blocks if I Shadow Spear up the Reggie? I mean, this would make a 3 3, and then they'd like put both Shepherds in front or something. I think I gotta do the demonic thing and like hope I win. I could Shadow Spear on defense. Just like Shadow Spear equip, pass, and then demonic embrace serve. That seems so much worse to me.
Yeah, I'm just gonna hope that they don't have a Lord effect. I was gonna try and two-shot him. So I like very specifically need a claim caller off the top. Or the reach, uh, the reach one two, and the reach one two and one of form two from the realm walker. Cool. Yay, Dino win, yay. I gave my dinosaur flying and it won me the game. Mm. That's that good stuff. That's that good stuff. Would I play this deck in a best of three format? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Mono Black Aggro is good in um, Pioneer, right? It usually shows up. I think there's a Mono Black Aggro list in Historic that shows up sometimes too. That Flying Demon. Throw some like Thought Seizes and Ley Lines in the sideboard. And, and some, uh, some super efficient removal, or like maybe some Tribal Hate. Probably good. It could be one of those times where, like, when I switch over to best of three, my win rate drops without the mana smoothing. Happens to me on occasion. But it looks good on paper. I think the deck looks solid on paper. Elves again, huh? Elves again, huh? I think this Colossus this turn might be super wrong. It might be super correct to just like play the champion and kill their War Master. Did I forget to draw? I forgot to fucking draw. It's kind of important. Now this turn, this turn I'll super remember to draw. I think the auger should have served there. That soggy, soggy noggin play in here. I think I'm actually gonna reaver. And then immediately do some tapping. Oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I like this opponent. This is a. Uh, um, this is why I like to play the the Crater Hoof in the Elf deck too. It just makes racing like stupid impossible. A lot of times when I'm playing elves on stream, people are asking me like, "Isn't the Crater Hoof overkill?" And then you like you're playing an Elf Mirror and like they don't have it, and you're like, "Oh, I've got this card. <laughs> I get to win." And you just both have like these ridiculous boards or whatever. Or you're playing against like the stupid life gain deck in Historic and your opponent's at like 40 some life or something, have a bunch of angels. You're like, don't care, this card. It's not what you want against like specifically control. Interesting. A Jadar hand. We can draw on turn two. Or do I just kill that thing? Hmm. I love drawing cards. I think you're supposed to kill the life gain things. Let's wait a turn so we can make a token. Maybe that's greedy. It's probably greedy. I'm probably gonna like lose because I'm li letting the Soul Warden live. Oh, Jadar's not a fucking zombie. God damn it, me. <laughs> well, I'm glad I, I real. I was like, why didn't it let me draw? Blah, 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 blah. Makes a zombie, it's not a zombie itself. Caleb, you silly. Now I can draw, though. It is good with the champion. I probably should have uh, served there and just like grow the champion by one. thinking here. <sighs> hmm. The Crypt Breaker is worth fucking two zombies, whereas Dark Salvation is only worth one. Do the Diagraph Colossus. So I think I actually play the Crypt Breaker. Of spirits, maybe I should be killing the bishop anyway.
I should have drawn some on my turn, I think. At least, like, one card game. Could fit a one drop. I get the impression they got another Coco for me, but there's not much I can do about it. I think I just gotta serve in. I guess I, guess I could just like draw a shit pile of cards. They're pretty close to killing me though. Yeah, there's something to drawing a shit pile of cards and like looking for the, the life gain equipment. Hmm, well, that's interesting. That was not a card I expected. some more lands this game. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> Karen fucking teed. Draws are alive. Yeah, the uh, the equipment that gains life is still good. That might be all that does it though. All that like gets me back into this. So we said we would rarely, <laughs> we said we would rarely have a, um, eight mana. <laughs> we have 16 here. So we're making eight two twos, right? We just kill the Righteous Valkyrie. You sixteen. So if they have another uh, Valkyrie, then they would have lethal here. Doesn't look like they do. I don't know why I'm drawing a card. I'm just going to discard it to Reggie. It was a land though, so it was correct. <laughs> it was a good draw. <laughs> I don't know why the angel didn't serve.
I think this plays well for me. I didn't do the math. I didn't crunch any numbers here, but... I think their angel shrinks. Shrinks a bit. Now we can activate the castle. Oh, <laughs> maybe I don't want to play this one. <laughs> maybe this one's fine to hold in hand, huh? Threat 18. Yeah. Kind of it sacked to itself. Just played to grow the champion. Oh, I was gonna make two more angels. That's a bummer. Ugh. Ugh. Kind of a fun game. We didn't get there, but at least some wild shit went down. Haven't besting any help. We didn't lose to angels. We lost a fucking. <laughs> we lost to settle the wreckage <laughs> and my inability to play around it. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Forgetting that existed. Yeah, I guess it's like not a crazy card to play in best of one. People are gonna play into it pretty often. I don't know, even if I was thinking about it, I don't know if I'd play around it there. I was kind of in a spot where I needed to try and make something happen. Should I have my stream right at my normal stream start time? Really kind of fitting. This deck does not run Green Merchant, no. Almost like this. Almost. God, I'm gonna play here. Let's keep this and uh, and keep all the one drops. Just go like Crit Breaker or Dread Wander into Double Crit Breaker or something. Yeah, Dread Wander into Double Crit Breaker and we can start drawing immediately. Zombies hate cowards. I don't think a zombie can tell the difference between a coward and a. Another kind of folk. They're not built for it. I guess zombies hate cowards cowards because they're like hard to chase down. Whereas a brave person will come right at them. Meal delivery. I really want to play the Reggie, but like, I want to kill that Dreadhorde more, I think. So I'm just going to play this for one. Make it 2-2, two -two, kill the thing. Give him four damage.
Drawing card. Drawing card sounds nice, but that Delver is doing a, a number on my life total, and this Registar is not going to reward me for having extras in hand. This is not how this Reggie's going to work. Interesting. So the the Optus face up, the Soul Scarab Mage is gonna get to eat one of my two X's here. But then we're getting in four damage and they go to ten. Ten is a real interesting number, isn't it? Hey Texas Ranger MTG, thanks for 33 months. Good vibes, good tunes, good cards. Yeah. All that stuff. All that stuff. And yeah, Black Lives Matter. Oh yeah, Texas. So if, if they have a bounce spell for Reggie, it kind of like undoes my, my plans here. But if they don't specifically have a bounce spell for Reggie, I think we're in a good spot. Drown Catacomb. Potentially opening up a whole nother nest of worms. I guess we'll find out, huh? I guess we'll find out. Oh, please don't have anything and just die. Probably GG, probably GG for them. With them having two up, with them hitting the, the, the land they needed, maybe I should have just served with a red team. Played my stupid 2 2. Because they didn't have lethal at that point. But maybe they just have another cantrip and another removal spell. Who knows? This is dead though, because they play the the bar order in a turn. It takes me three life to bring the embrace back. No, my pips, my beautiful pips. That's all right. If you never lose, then winning would, would uh, wouldn't have any meaning, right? Just like if you only eat chocolate, then you'd probably like chocolate a whole lot less. champion kind of seems like they're gonna kill my champion <laughs> uh, I kind of want more of that two drop that uh that's worth two zombies the two mana one two that comes with a one one army I think I want a second copy of that it's been really good for me today
You like to live vicariously through your opponents? Nice. Every once in a while that's fun. Absolutely, Hammer and King. Absolutely. Yeah, it certainly works with multiples, but I think we can play a second. I wouldn't play more than that. But a second could be good. Hmm... The one who gives me a Decay Zombie. Yeah. I mean, the first one of that guy's fine, too. They're both really good with Champion. Shit. Oh, they didn't sack both gas. having my champion out. <laughs> this frog is so disturbing. I love it. Best pet ever. Ever! So now Diagraph is giving me like a little bit of buffer for this priest. The priest is still like drawing them cards and stuff. I guess this Crypt Breaker is drawing me cards. Maybe card. Ooh. I just want to play that for two. I feel like I do. No, let's play it for one. The Diagraph Colossus trigger is worth it. I could second token draw a card. I think I'd rather have the token. It's nice to have the option, but I think I'd rather have the token. Well, now I wish I'd done it for zero. <laughs> oh, it's two targets. I still get my token. Okay, good, good, good. I mean, shh, ob, planned. Look at me attacking ever with my aggro deck. Hey, what's up, Dr. Bugsy? No, that card's really good against me. Okay. Pardon for yawning. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm not bored, I promise you. I'm both having fun and tired at the same time. I like this Televisor Trang. It's got a real nice 
mood about it. Nice groove. A little jumpy, a little bit of pep. <laughs> you think being sleepy is fun? I mean, I am excited to sleep. That's gonna be real nice. Some beautiful curves with this deck. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super sure about Graph Reaver. It might be worse than that Death Touch zombie that's around or some other fucking thing. I'm not sure about Bone Shards either. I think I'm gonna go down to one tower. I haven't activated it at all today. Elves again. There's definitely matchups where I'm happier to play Graph Reaver on two than like Augur. Like this one. My opponent elfing it up. No third land, aim. Eh? I don't think that's gonna go well for him. because I'm going to have to discard it to Reggie anyway. Chonk. Yeah, I agree, Beatum. 100%. That crazy baseline is just like holding it together. Somehow. Ooh. Welcome, Ponder Putty. Hey, everyone, Ponder Putty's here. We can start the stream now. Everyone come out of hiding. We beat Elves twice today, right? Oh no, we lost to Crater Hoof. I'm thinking we like this deck specifically. I think we lost to Hoof. But we might have played Elves three times. I don't know, I don't remember. Untap.gg will keep track of that shit for me. Hey, Pony Slay Station, thanks for the 40 months. Thanks for slaying. Those poor ponies. We did beat them with the Flying Dino once. Okay, so I'm two and one against them. What up? Hey, Proxemix takes the five months. Wow. Play a five mana this turn, right? Hell of a card, that Leyline of Abundance. Oh, God. Oh, God.
Yeah! Yeah! Let's fucking... Let's play another one or two. I like this deck. I like fucking them up. I think the sideboard would be pretty straightforward, right? Just like four Thoughtseize for like combo and decks with sweepers. Four Ley Lines to hate on the, the graveyard decks. Probably a couple of that Witch's Vengeance card, and then like some Fatal Pushes. I think that's a whole sideboard right there. Yep, I'm gonna take out a Phyrexian Tower. Not right now, that's... You know how many clicks it takes? You have to like find the deck and bring it out and... Oh my god, it's not worth it. I think Jadar on two gets more damage in than Reaver does. Reaver gives you that burst though, that burst immediately. Let's go ahead and Jadar. And then next turn Jadar will pump the, the second champion of Perished as well. Would Coco be okay in the stack? It would. <laughs> What's your point? Only one anger of the gods? Let's go one more. Let's see if we can get into platinum one. With this last, with this this last game, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think Reggie's gonna take it home for me. If I was a channel point betting man, I'm not because they don't let you bet on your own channel. <laughs> it would it would be all on black right now. Let's go zombies. Losing the die roll, unfortunate. Snow-covered forest. Does that say elves to you? Could be elves with that two mana ramper. No, it's not elves, it's not elves at all. Oh my god. Am I gonna flood out and die and lose to fucking infect? <laughs> Is that is that what this is? The game that I the game that I lose to Finn the Fangbearer.
These leaves are kind of sweet. Like, when I got these sleeves, I think I thought that I was buying the lands. And then I found out there were sleeves, and I was and I like I wasn't disappointed. I was like still happy. I was like, yeah. Nice. Pumping my Colossus for me, all nice. Looks like the opponent's got a couple of different combos in there, huh? I'm just gonna play that 1-3 and attack with the, the Vampire of the Dire Moon. I should've killed the Vampire. I should've killed the Vampire instead of the Finn. That was bad on my part. Because the 1-3, if you have a source of life gain in play, you can just like attack with it and win. Well, that's mean. Those <laughs> was all my things. <laughs> was, uh, unkind. The good news is they didn't just win and uh... Didn't play that card I was worried about. Chase attack. Let's go for the trade. Probably not. Is that an infinite combo? So I know I said that we were guaranteed to get Platinum here. I know I said that. 